Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to episode 14 of the My Player series here on FIFA 19. As I mentioned at the end of yesterday's Newcastle episode, uh, I'm away for the weekend from Thursday evening until uh, Sunday evening, if not maybe into Monday. So as such, to ensure I don't miss an upload slot, I'm cutting this weekend's videos, Saturday and Sunday, down from three games an episode to two games an episode, just to ensure I've got enough time to get all of the uh, videos recorded so I don't miss an upload slot. So you will have a video in every slot as it's supposed to be. It just might be 20 minutes long rather than 30, but I'm sure you can uh, you can understand the reasoning behind that. It's not like it's going to last forever. It's just the weekend. We have Universidad de Chile to start us off today, and then it looks like some international news, but... We, or international games, we haven't yet had any sort of email to inform me that I might be playing for England again. So it may be the game against Santa Fe that's the second one of the episode. We shall wait and see. We did not have the best of starts to the Copa Libertadores yesterday, or Thursday even. Uh, defeat to Racing Club, and quite convincing defeat at that. So we need to be much better here away from home in Chile against Universidad de Chile. And uh, you might recognise... The way that those kits look. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. And fingers crossed today we can actually score a goal or two. Soteldo inside to Benegas. Caroca. There's a man free on this far side of the monitor. Needed Martinez. Oh, he should have used him. He really should have used him. We could very well have been 1 0 down after just three minutes here away from home in Chile. That has not been the most confidence-inspiring start to a game we've ever had, I have to be honest. Martinez forward here to Abia, into Benegas. Again, he's got people running off him. Thankfully, we've finally gotten the tackle in. Malambi could play a through ball here. He hasn't. Danny Torres linking up well with Malambi. I'll call for a through ball now, and I will get it. And we'll knock it in front of Malambi, and maybe we'll go the other end and score a goal ourselves. Araujo has the... Oh, Snapshot effort, rushed effort, that unfortunately slices wide. Oh, we could have had a goal at either end in the opening 10 minutes. This might be quite a good tie. Yes. Benegas, Martinez, that wide to well Ubia, back now. to Rodriguez. This is good football from Try Universidad. In Thankfully, we've gotten the ball away with Everticino. Cabrice to Danny Torres, forward to Malambi. Torres. I'll call for this. Oh, he tried to play me. Didn't quite get the pass off. Space for Araujo. A rush into it, please. Good lad. I'm trying to arrive late if I can. Cross comes in. It will land at my feet. It's a good first touch. It's a good second touch. I'll lay it off to a teammate who could have a shot. Danny Torres to Cabrice. Straight to Herrera. That was a very good move. I have only like 62 acceleration, but my sprint speed is 79. So once I get going, I can actually be quite fast. My touch in the box was pretty decent, which is actually surprising for the way that we found ourselves uh, having our first touch play out recently. But unfortunately, when the chance did fall to Cabrice, he wasn't able to find the back of the net. Here come Universidad on the counter-attack. Benegas driving forward, but Josue has defended that very well indeed. Much better than the opening three minutes. <laughs> oh, give it away. I was busy fighting a bloody nail. Shot. Oh, flashes wide of the target. We didn't have possession. I was too busy chewing my nails. Bad habit, I know. But, oh, a lot of power behind that, but narrowly wide. Win that header. Or at least challenge for it. Cabrice to me. Through the gap there. We find Araujo who finds... Oh, Malambi. oh, Christ, he hit that hard. Cabrice with a turn and the effort. Good save. Can I get to that first? Yes. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, it's gone out for a goal kick. I tried to play that across goal with a pass. Oh, Mexican wave, look. Mexican wave. I think that's the first time I've seen that. I think it's been in the game for like three years. And that's the first time I've actually witnessed a Mexican wave at a game in FIFA. Well, there are still new things to be discovered in FIFA 19. Malambi will knock that down to me. I'll actually return it to him. The defender must have kicked that clearance against me. It's a lovely through ball. And Cabrice is in. It's a good save by Herrera. But Cabrice was offside. We are growing in this game and becoming more and more dangerous. And that was a very tight offside call, but the right decision. Saavedra, the push from left back. Picked off by Danny Torres. He's done well there. We get one more chance before half-time, maybe. We've been the better side, despite starting 
quite clearly on the back foot with that chance they had after just three minutes. We have bossing since. We've been heavily involved in a lot that's been going on as well. Malambi will get that to me. I'm driving into the box. Oh, I just got caught on the defender and couldn't continue my run at pace, unfortunately. I was about to pull the trigger. I wanted to pull the trigger. There's the half-time whistle. Might have had one final chance there, but unfortunately it wasn't to be. Into the second half we go in the ascendancy here. I'd like to think it's only a matter of time before a goal comes, but we'll wait and see. Yeah, right there to Cabrose, he's played the one two. Got three people with me. How I've turned away from that, I have absolutely no idea. Aaron Hunt off the bench here. It's never really made a positive impact. Look at the pace we've got there. Once we get going with our 62 acceleration, we can build up quite a head of speed. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get to that loose ball. Abraham into Danny Torres. I'm disappointed to see Aaron Hunt on the field, to be honest, because he's pretty poor whenever he's played for us. Cabrice could get this into the box. Lays it back there. Danny Torres hit firmly. Firmly over the bar. Step up into Danny Torres. Through to me. Cabrice is there out wide. We played him in and he's on side. And there is someone arriving at the back post. The Raulho. Oh, he squeezed it in. 1-0 Gremio. We had a chance similar in the last episode. Where I crossed the ball to the back post and Araujo arrived with a thumping volley first time that crashed off the post. This time it's similar. Cabrais crossing it to Araujo and on this occasion he finds the back of the net. We played the ball out to Cabrais. He's just floated it to the back post hoping Araujo can get there and he does. Bang! Side footed it to keep it controlled this time as if he'd learnt from the previous miss. Superb control on the volley. The keeper should do better. He's near post. He comes off his arm. And just diverts it further into the back of the net. After an hour, we are finally in front here against Universidad. We might be getting our first three points of continental competition. Good header by Josue. Aaron Hunt forward to me. Give that short there to Sepa. Hunt out wide to Cabrais. Could cross it. Hasn't. Sepa. Still waiting for a potential ball in. There it is to Aaron Hunt who flicks it up rather than towards a teammate. Rather poor from Aaron Hunt, but it's what we've come to expect from him in a Gremio shirt. He's really not very good. Ever Titinho, cross could come in. There it is. I'm trying to get there. I have done. And we've gotten another header for our collection. Gremio 2. Universidad nil. Diving in there ahead of the goalkeeper. It's a lovely teasing cross from Ever Titinho. I just needed to get there ahead of the keeper. This is exactly what we did. Stumbling into it, but they all count. Another goal for us. We're back on the score sheet again. That's the most important thing as far as I'm concerned. 2-0. Soteldo into Benegas. Lovely through ball. Looking for Pizarro's off the bench here to make an impact. Maybe. Oh, off the post. He certainly did make an impact on the woodwork. But not on the game as a whole. Didn't go into the back of the net. We'll spread that out wide to Rafael Pereira. Get it inside again here, maybe to meet. And has done. We'll help it on its way there to Sepa. Sepa's got options out wide. He's held the ball up brilliantly. And somehow has kept hold of it. Can we make it three, perhaps? A call for him from Hunt. I'll get it around the corner there looking for Cabrice. But he's played at the wrong side, the defender, than I intended. And that will be probably the last potential goal mouth action of the game. Three minutes added on. They're taking their time here. That's rather poor from Universidad. And sums up their performance. We've done to them what Racing Club did to us in the last game. Delighted that we've been able to fire back and get a result in this one. And Universidad drew with Santa Fe in their first game in the tournament. Which means, to my mind, that we should be able to do this to Santa Fe as well. Hopefully. My 35th match completed of my uh, career so far. Only one accomplishment for that. Rather frustratingly. But Santa Fe are yet to play Racing Club. We'll have to wait and see how that result goes. If the first round of fixes is anything to go by, Racing Club should have won that. And comfortably so. And they've lost it. Santa Fe win. Well, maybe this group isn't going to be as straightforward as we thought. A few people in the comments section of the previous episode uh, or two asking me to stop training. And I will stop training, uh, I think now... For, let me just quickly show you what I'm currently training. Uh, I'm going to stop training this one. Ball control strength. Actually, I might do one more just to get it to, if I can get a good result in that, to get it to go up more, one more. And then I'll stop training that. I'll stop, I'll remove this one now. Uh, I might continue to train my long passing and my crossing because I'm not going to get the opportunity to grow them by loads with accomplishment achievements. So I might try and get them into the mid 70s before I stop training there. And tackling stats isn't going to hurt to have better tackling stats. Dribbling has gone up one more. All right, I think I'll I think I'll remove that now. I think 78 strength. 
Ah, maybe one more week because it's just gonna it's gonna bug me that they're not quite over the edge. We'll do one more week's worth of training just to get those over the edge and then we'll push forward. But we have not been selected by the England national side. Rephrase, we have been selected for the English national side against New Zealand and Russia. I'm not sure who the first game... Oh, the first game is against New Zealand. Have we been selected for this one? We have. So we shall play against New Zealand then in the second game of the episode. I didn't think we were going to get selected there for a moment. Playing in a 5-3-2 with Danny Ings as a strike partner. It's not the strongest of England lineups. Jamal is still in there. Interesting to see. We'll see what we can do against New Zealand. Chris Wood on the other side of that graphic there was New Zealand's Chris Wood. I'm playing against myself. It's me versus me. That looks like State Chamberlain comes away with the ball there and then the immediately gives it away. And now here come New Zealand. Doyle down the line to Boyd. Could cross. We tried to pull that back to a teammate. It's not quite worked for them there. Call for that. Or help it on its way to Danny Ings. His touch lets him down. But he's done well to win it back. Brilliant football from Danny Ings there. Oh, terrible football from Kyle Walker there. Scrappy from us in this game so far. We're yet really to get into their half. Strong, fair challenge. Balls out for a throw though. Throw for New Zealand. Doyle picks it up from Boyd. Running at Kyle Walker. Oh, good cross. Danny Rose chests it. Penalty. Oh, Danny Rose. What have you done, mate? Rather than head that away, he's tried to chest it down. And then he's lunged for the ball as it's away from him. And he's just he's just knocked the New Zealand man to the ground. Who's going to take the penalty? It's Chris Wood for New Zealand. Is my alter ego about to score a penalty against me? No! Save by Jordan Pickford in the battle of me versus me. I'm coming out on top. Howison. Forward there to Chris Wood. Wood. It has been all New Zealand so far in this friendly. And Wood draws another good save out of Pickford. One from the penalty spot. One from 30 yards. Struck that very hard and true. It genuinely has been all New Zealand in this game. We are yet to have a chance on goal. They've had a penalty and a couple of pot shots. Jordan Pickford picks that up and then bowls it out. We've not played good football so far. There have been moments... Brief moments, but it is yet to come together for us. A call for that. I'll get it to Danny Ings. He'll play it back to me and we'll look for Will Hughes out wide. Gets it to Carl Walker. Darts inside nicely. Here's Alex oxlade Taylor into me. I see the run of Will Hughes. And he's given it in there to Jordan Henderson. It might still drop to me here. It hasn't quite. I don't know who that came off last. It may well have come off me and be their throw. It's not. It's our throw and I will take it. And, well... There we go. Thank you, Jordan. He's actually started Jordan to make a move. Henderson gets it back to me. I'll whip it in looking for Will Hughes. He's not that down to Danny Ings. Was wildly hit that over the bar. Danny Ings has not been the best of strike partners in this game. Or even close to it. Ten minutes to go till half-time. Nil-nil. Down well. Wood knocks it on again to Singh. Could return it to him. Singh out wide to Babarabus. Oh, Thomas! Oh, what a goal! Jordan Pickford caught out positionally and the, the most unorthodox of first time volleys the ball just dropped to him and he's just what a finish he's just reacted he's at full pelt as it comes towards him and then that is an unbelievable finish and look at it bend away from Pickford as he dives towards it that's unreal what a goal for New Zealand Ryan Thomas makes it 1-0 to the Kiwis Cross to Hughes to me on the overlap here is arriving Kyle Walker. I have to be honest, I'm not keen on this 5-3-2 formation. Not with the way that England play with it, anyway. We'll look for Hughes there, and he'll find Walker. Forward to Danny Ings. Could work it into me. He's tried. Oh, I've got it under control. I just need to find a teammate. Will Hughes. He'll shoot. It's blocked and def deflected twice. And cleared away. I'm surprised in myself I'll actually be able to keep hold of possession. I'll call for this to Jordan Henderson. I'll get it. We'll play Danny Ings in around the corner. But Vauxhall's done brilliantly. Danny Ings... Chamberlain, come on boys, oh no, there's the half-time whistle, 1-0 down at the break, thanks to a truly stupendous goal from Ryan Thomas, let's see if we can come back in the second half, otherwise it might be defeat for England in this friendly, Barbaru says, to sing, Danny Ings has been replaced by Daniel Sturridge here in this one, and I have to be honest, I'm quite glad to see the back of Danny Ings, he was not a good strike partner whatsoever, Hughes on to me, 
ball out to Kyle Walker is decent. Danny Ings, sorry, Danny Sturridge in the middle. Two Danny's, one currently at Liverpool, one formerly of Liverpool. Danny Ings now obviously at Southampton. John Stones could get this forward. Oh, we're taking our time here. I called for Alex Oxlade well. Chamberlain. I won't get it. We could really do with some more positive forward action from this England side in this second half because we have not been good enough. Alex Oxlade Chamberlain didn't play it to me when I was in space and when I called for it from someone else in the middle, then Alex Oxlade Chamberlain tries to play it to me through three players. That sums up this England performance so far. Just disjointed not really making much football sense at times and overall poor play get that quickly to Danny Sturridge though and we'll see if we can counter attack here at pace which evidently we can't Jordan Henderson quite happy to go sideways I've called for it I'm not going to get it yet or at all it seems frustrating in an England shirt the first half against Belgium in our first England game was pretty poor and the second half really came to life so far it doesn't look like that's going to repeat itself here still the great goal from Ryan Thomas decides the fixture half an hour left to play Henderson forward into me Sturridge is there we'll get it to him quickly he's got support Chamberlain Sturridge Chamberlain Walker I've called for through ball trying to keep himself on side but he can't get it to Danny Sturridge here's Thomas forward to Wood could touch and turn Barbaro says Home team about to make a change. What's he saying stay in position for? I'm literally stood next to my strike partner. How is that out of position? I'll call for that from Will Hughes and I'll get it. We'll get it in there to Alex Oxley Chamberlain. You might look for Danny Sturridge. I'll look across there for Henderson. He'll get it out wide to Danny Rose. Now we could have the opportunity here to equalise. He'll play it inside to me. Heavy first touch, but we've held the ball up well. Will Hughes tried to play it back to me. It didn't work. Jordan Henderson will turn and shoot and wooed their goalkeeper. Might even be pronounced Wood, the same as uh, mine and Chris Wood's name. But regardless, it doesn't go in. And however you pronounce the goalkeeper's name, he kept it out. Here's Kyle Walker. Could get the ball back into the box here, Kyle. I'm at the back post. I've called for the cross. It's going to right to Danny Sturridge, who heads us level. Finally, a spell of pressure that actually ends in something. Sturridge off the bench. If one Danny can't score, the other Danny can. 1-1. One, one. Good header by Will Hughes. Henderson gets it, pokes it to me as he drops the shoulder, come back this way. Hughes, oh, really heavy touch. Fenton intercepts well. We get that off Singh, we can't. Barbaru says, Wood, Singh, again the man out wide, given away, counter-attack. It's now or never, if we want to win it, two minutes added on, it seems like we're not really that arsed. To be completely honest, Chris Walling just running in a straight line. Stones with a ridiculously heavy touch. Or maybe, maybe, Trent Alexander-Arnold, a call for through ball, and I might well have gotten to that had the referee not blown his final whistle. That's incredibly frustrating. Well, neither Chris Wood could get on the score sheet, despite one of them having a penalty. One Danny couldn't score for England, but the other Danny did. A 1-1 draw against New Zealand here for England. Not the most awe-inspiring of performances, but we did fight back well, at least, to get ourselves a draw. Germany draw only against Norway. They were 1-0 down at half-time as well, actually. I've not been selected for the next game for England away from home against Russia. It's actually Callum Wilson that's gotten the start ahead of me here. And it isn't the same 11 either. Danny Ings on the score sheet after eight minutes. Great. Well, he couldn't do it with me as a partner, but he can do it with Callum Wilson. Not the same, like I say, not the same 11. Same formation, five at the back. Jones, Tarkovsky and Michael Keane at the back with uh, Rose and Walker as wing-backs. Henderson, Shelby... And Oxlade Chamberlain, Shelby starting ahead of Will Hughes, who's now come on for Jordan Henderson. Callum Wilson starting ahead of me. And uh, James Tarkovsky and Michael Keane starting ahead of uh, John Stones. And I can't quite remember who else was at the back. Chris Smalling. But it's a draw there. So we should be selected for training injury. Don't be me. Oh, it's ever to senior. Oh, and relax. Right, this will be the last training module we do because hopefully strength. And agility will go up one. Right, that's the last time I shall train that module as well. We'll just train our tackling and our long ball stats now as we move forward. Let me remove that whilst I remember so I don't forget. We'll delete that session. And then we shall just simulate those two. Long passing and crossing both going up. We won't do any more training on any other stats other than those two uh, specific drills for the foreseeable future. Because I believe... We are at a level now, 76 rated, where we should be earning our stats through in-game performances. I don't want to, you know, not 
cheat because it, it's not necessarily cheating if it's in there as a as a mechanic anyway but we don't want to too artificially boost our overall rating right tomorrow we shall play santa fe and university that again two games i would very much like to think that we could win drop the video a like if you enjoyed subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on more there will be a newcastle episode out later on today another episode of this and newcastle again tomorrow Apologies, it's only two games per episode, but I don't want to miss an upload slot, and I want to make sure you guys get videos on each and every day, and hopefully that was entertaining enough. A good uh, fight back from England, and we're on the score sheet again against Universidad, so I'm pleased with that. I'll see you tomorrow.